you guys just saw i have to relocate because the mosquitoes were doing a number on me okay like when i tell you i didn't even get to do anything i didn't even get to sit down i love that area too it's so peaceful but now i'm walking across to the other side of the park need to a nice area sit down journal for a little bit do a little reading eat my fruits and just soak up some outside um energy you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> i don't think this is a good idea wow i know they, they were saying that they have a mosquito problem in new york but like i think it's really bad even sticking on my pants like that is so not good I need a nice little quiet spot and it seems like since they blocked off the area it might just be a little crowded because I feel like everyone's gonna be in just one section. We shall see. having some kind of game going on over here some tournaments funny enough I never came to this park on a Saturday only on the weekdays obviously I prefer peace and quiet <laughs> so um, but it was cool anyways I'm about to leave now I feel good I feel charged up oh my gosh you guys so something happened and I took notice to it it's so crazy how nature could really put you in such a different spirit. Oh, by the way, I look like I'm bald, right? Child, let me tell you. So the half wig that I was wearing caused that. Like I, when I woke up one day and I noticed it, I was like, wait, what the heck? And I was like, wait, why am I going bald? And then it dawned on me because it's in the same exact spots that I put the, the clip for the half wig so now I can't wear it anymore if you're doing a lot of things and what I mean by a lot of things is if you don't make time for yourself and to just really be still and get outside in nature whether it doesn't have to be much you know just go for a walk like first thing in the morning before you start your day like you would see such a big change in you your performance you know your thoughts like just everything is so connected a lot of people don't realize but it is you guys so if you don't already have some kind of routine get on a routine okay and try to stick with it stick with something that's gonna work for you and that's what's the word that's um reasonable you know y'all have a long day with me today i'm about to go to the house i actually i'm near the mall but I left my card, so I need to get some foundation and stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to go home and then come back up this side to the mall. Um, but anyways, I have a very long day. I got a lot of things to get done and um, a lot of errands to run. 
So, yeah, it's a great vlogging day. You guys get to come around New York City. Well, Brooklyn to be exact. You guys get to come around with me today, show y'all around. I might go to Coney Island a little bit later, but I'm not sure yet. We shall see. It's about like nine something right now. And um, yeah, so that's the agenda. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are playing cricket. <laughs> That is so cool, seeing cricket in America. This might sound weird, but cricket is not really in America. So more than likely, these are like West Indian, I don't know, Jamaicans, Guyanese, Trinis, those type of countries. Come on, let's see, let's see a nice little goal here. I don't even know if you call it goal or not, but <laughs> yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm out and about now y'all and it is freaking crowded okay just like I thought today's a Saturday hella crowded anyway so right now I'm on Flatbush and I'm about to um, head down to the junction and get go to Telco because I need to get some gym outfits and I know Telco has them so I'm gonna go there and then I'm, I'm not gonna go to Kings Plaza today because it's just too much up and down I'm um, just going to go back downtown because I want to go to DSW and get my gym sneakers from down there. So, yeah. If I could go back and make things right, I would have it undone. No, I hurt you. Yeah, I was blind. The blame is mine. Yeah, I feel the weight on my shoulders. Know that I regret it. Hope I can. I'm wearing shades and I think it left a mark on my makeup so let me go fix that real quick okay so it didn't mess up my makeup too bad thank goodness Born this way. I heard it's full coverage and also want to get the foundation too. So I'm not sure. It's you and me. Yeah, we found, but we try to make everything better. You, baby, and me. We work everything now. No one can love me better. you It says workout speakers, but I don't know how I feel about white. If they had black or like a darker color, I would have said yes. But this seems to be the darkest color. And they don't even look that good, but look at the price. Period. <laughs> oh, oh no, these are not. These are not workout. I need to make sure that it's nice and soft and comfortable. Alright y'all, so I made it to Burlington. Primark didn't have any sneakers really, so... Well, that I would get. It's super crowded in here, oh my gosh. And the lines be so freaking long, man. Ooh, these are cute. These are real... These are guests. Sorta, of, kinda, not really. I might have to go to DSW, to be honest. But I'm gonna have to go tomorrow because it started raining and yeah. Yo, I think my friend, me, I think I'm a size nine now, not a, not a eight and a half. Yeah. <laughs> 
These look so freaking good. It's an eight and a half, but it's too snug, man. And it says foam, like it's foamy on the inside. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But my toes literally at the top. I found these and it's kind of weird because these are eight and a half and I can't pass it up. It's $30 like, and it looks great on my feet. So what, is, what are these? Oh, Puma, 30 bucks, man. You can't beat that. And it's really, really soft. See, soft foam. There we go. That's our starter gym sneakers. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Oh my. Mm. Yeah, let me tell y'all something, right? Shopping is not that fun for me anymore. I used to love shopping. I don't love shopping anymore. No. But I gotta get a few things, so I guess. I do need some bed slippers. Oh, I had these before. I'm about to grab these. I need some new ones. Get these. Where's the restroom? Excuse me, where's the restroom? Oh, I'm sorry, the restroom's closed, but there's another one on the second floor of the mall near the food court. Too. All right, thank you. All right, honestly, I think this is it for Primark, y'all. And look, look at the line. This is this is this is crazy. All the way around. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I don't need anything else from in here. I'm out. Finally, I'm up next. I've been online for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Hello. Would you like a bag? Um, yes. No, no, no. I just left the mall I got my goodies and I'm about to go try to run to telco before it starts to rain it's literally about to come down any moment and I don't really want to be stuck in the rain but I do need to get my workout outfit since I'm pretty much almost done with most of the stuff I just got to sign up at the gym oh and you're probably like well why are you buying gym stuff chin but listen I just been I need to get back to my routines and things that I was doing like just more healthier habits you know so that's why I'm going to go get these stuff so that I can get back into my routine and get back into the gym and stuff like that that's kind of it so I'm about to jump back into a dollar van right now and head to Soho. okay so these are the little makeup goodies that I got today I went to Sephora and I picked up the translucent setting powder now I did not go in there specifically for this I wanted to get the Sephora face powder but they didn't have my shade and I used to wear it a couple years ago and I actually liked it it was really good good coverage and um, it was affordable so I was like you know what I was looking at some of my old makeup videos and I was like okay let me go grab that powder because I actually really used to like it but like I said, they didn't have it. So the guy that was helping me, he said, um, try this out. If I don't like it, I can always bring it back. So um, basically, it's just a loose powder to go on top of my makeup, like my foundation. only used to use like just like um, loose powder to set my concealer, my under eye concealer. Let's be honest, like loose powders are a little messy. But, you know, like I said, I can always return it. So I'm just going to check it out, see how I like it. And I also went to Ulta. These are the three things that I picked up from Ulta. So this and this is going to go together. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've been meaning to get my hands on this foundation for the longest. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. I do prefer full coverage foundations because I just feel like it just makes the face look um, a lot more flawless. Especially when you don't have perfect skin. Give this a try. I got the shade Golden Beige. 
um, it actually looks like it was close to my skin color but sometimes it's so funny because sometimes you go to sephora or alta these makeup stores and even the lighting in there is not the best and it's led light but it's just weird i needed to switch foundations anyway i just been using like a drugstore foundation and it really doesn't match my skin color i realized i've been looking kind of like because it oxidizes and i've been looking like reddish and stuff and i don't like that so i'm excited to pair these two together and see how well they go and then I, this is just the oldie but goodie this is my favorite um highlighter it's molten gold highlighter i actually ordered one from amazon a couple months like about a, two months ago and they sent me the wrong one but i mean i was not i just took the l because you know things like this you just don't return i mean i don't return it it just doesn't make doesn't make sense <laughs> so um and it was like silverish i usually don't like i don't typically like silverish highlighter i like gold highlighter and this one is gold it's really rich so that's what i like about this i think this is one of the best drugstore highlighters um and then this one i swatched it and don't really like it this is another one i'm not going to return this is only like six bucks so it's just kind of like i eh, just take the l for that too um it's not as it's a little i mean it's when i swatched it it wasn't as dark as i wanted it to be but now i'm thinking about it i should have went back i should have went to mac and got the um spiked pencil that's my favorite brow pencil but um yeah i don't know let's let's i'm gonna try it it's just it's not as I don't know. I don't know. Because I, lately I've been wanting to go for lighter brows anyway. So, you know what? I only swatch it on my hand. So, let me just try to just do my makeup with it and see how I like it before I make any more, like, go any further and say, oh, I really don't like it. Because all I did was just swatch it on my hands. So, this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is a new product by them. So, yeah. I only got four makeup products. And then I went to <clears throat> Macy's because I needed some more perfumes i know y'all like chin i thought you stopped using non yeah stop using toxic stuff sis listen okay <laughs> like i said before i fell back on a lot a lot of things you guys okay like a lot of things um am i proud no but do i accept what it is yes absolutely i just needed some new perfumes i do actually i'm gonna go to these um where i used to get my body oils from and sometimes well they do have a lot of different brand of fragrances they have low end and high end so i they might be able to have these there and i also want to get gucci bloom because gucci bloom i smelled it on someone and they smell so good but the smallest one is like 120 dollars. i think i'm gonna go to where I used this guy that sells the body oils um which are definitely a lot more safer on the skin and i'm gonna see if he has gucci bloom and um these two when i tell you this is my favorite but i couldn't really decide so i just ended up getting both of them now the only thing that i don't like is oh i didn't even realize it's on the box it says roll on that's not what i wanted i wanted the spray kind but it's a roll-on um hopefully it still gives me that richness when i say richness like you know how some perfumes that you spray on and it just does not last i hope this lasts on